Hey folks, it's the Mediocre Cover Band Guitar Guy, second heat wave of the summer edition. Uh, I want to thank everybody first and foremost for the support I've been getting. I've um, been getting a fair bit here lately, and I really, really appreciate it very much. I'd like to keep that going, um, so if you could subscribe to my channel, that'd be awesome. It's about bragging rights, you know, an old guy filming these with no editing on a cell, cell phone. Uh, with nothing really to talk about, I'm not a session guy. I can't bring you to work with me. I could bring you to work with me, but I think my boss would find it kind of weird. Um, I really don't have anything to offer. Just advice on cover band, band, music things, uh, bringing up some topics, and asking for some opinions. So, thank you for the support. Let's keep going. I got asked a question this past weekend, and it was about uh, music burnout. Burnout in general, I guess. And we all know, anybody who works the real jobs. We all take vacations or we get two days off in the week where we try to cram time uh, away from work with things that aren't related to work. And once this music becomes work, it's work. And you want to get away from it. Um, for argument's sake, you're in a band, you're rehearsing, you're doing gigs, you're rehearsing, you're doing gigs, you're rehearsing, you're doing gigs. It's the same people rehearsing, doing gigs, the same arguments, the same everything. If the monotony is just playing the whole same thing over and over again or whatever, try playing with some different people. There's the first step of advice there. Um, if you're somebody who's playing five, six nights a week, seven nights a week, you might want to try to step away. And that's easy for me to say I have a day job. So for the guys, the folks that are out there playing constantly, it might not be that easy, especially with the pay scales being what they are right now. And, you know, I'm harping on that still. I'm always going to harp on that until it gets better. But the pay scales being the way they are, sometimes you can't afford it. You know, you got rent, mortgages, whatever. You got to feed kids. School's opening up soon again. Uh, fuck, where did that go? Uh, you know, Chubbs Jr. needs a new pair of sneakers. You know, you got to buy exercise books and, you know, notepads and pens and pencils and erasers and calculators. And, you know clothes, just all that stuff is expensive, so you got to work it, you know. Um, just like everybody else, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it, it's, you know, but we don't, as musicians, if you're not working, you don't have that fallback plan, if this is what you're doing all the time. So therefore, you tend to get burned out. Um, so if you can take a break, and you have that time allotted, take a break, and do something that does not focus around music whatsoever. If you can't afford to take that break and you're burned out, then find some hobbies that you can do in the daytimes when you're not doing music. Some guys are writing, learning songs, teaching, and then gigging. Those precious moments you have when music is not there, like first thing in the morning, get a cup of tea, go outside if it's nice out, and just enjoy that. Go downtown, find a deck somewhere, have a cup of coffee, watch some people. Go for a walk on a walking trail in the woods, take in some nature. Read. Read books that aren't centric to music, like autobiographies and things like that of musical artists. Uh, read nonfiction. Read fiction. Whatever. Just not music type of books. Uh, learn how to fix things. Learn how to change something in your car. Fix something out in your car. Change your own oil. Do your brakes. Um, DIY shit around your house or apartment. Just simple things. Um, learn how to build something, like build a fucking birdhouse. You know what I mean? Um, I don't recommend getting shit face drunk all the time to forget about your problems because that's going to fuck your gigs up. Um, but just find things that you can walk away. If it's something you need to do that's spiritual, do that. Uh, and it might help with the whole burnout, the whole monotony, and whatever. I know 2017, man, we were, like I said we were before, we were flat out. We, uh, we did gig after gig after gig after gig after gig. I think in the summertime... We did like seven out-of-town festivals right in a row. Uh, luckily, my ex-wife uh, worked around that with me, um, you know, because we I have shared custody of my children. And uh, that was the other thing, you know, you're balancing one week. You can't really play gigs because you got the kids around and we wouldn't take gigs when we had our children around. It was the off week when they were with our respective exes uh, that we played. And we played every weekend. So weekends we had the kids, it was filled with doing things with the kids. And then weekends that we had for ourselves were 
playing, and which was it became work after a while. You were going to work because you're being professional and you're being play, paid to play. So it's work. It is a job to a degree. And yes, I know I got those guys that are going to come on with the comments and go, well, I don't do it for money. But we do. We're different. We do it. We did it to offset income. I, at the time, didn't have the job I have now and needed to offset my income uh, to survive. Therefore, it became work. It became a second job. So it's great if you don't need money. You know, if you're happy living in a room where your toilet is next to your stove, awesome. And your bedroom door is a shower curtain, awesome. That's great. Or you make a lot of money and you don't give a shit about people who have no money. That's up to you. But we worked hard and then it became to a point after COVID we realized we were burned out because we got to enjoy some weekends at home all of a sudden on Friday you got off work came home I was still doing a lot of overtime and I had nothing going on it's like I came home put my feet up we watched movies I might have some beer or not and uh, we relaxed we got up Saturday did some housework repeat watch movies relaxed Sundays, food prep, went to bed, went to work again, and that was it. And when COVID was over, this is when it really kicked in that we were burned out because we started playing heavily again. Once it was over, we were playing every second weekend, whatever we could get that wasn't nailed down, and it just wasn't as much fun because we were doing it too much. So now we do it every now and then. I got a gig coming in two weeks, which is getting ready to learn some songs now uh, for rehearsal. I think we're going to try to go in with four new ones, and uh, I'm looking forward to it because we haven't played in a few weeks. So that's that's where I'm at now. But like I said, if you're burned out, find things that aren't related to music to do. Whether if you can only get an hour a day at it because you're gigging that night and you can't go and do those things or whatever. If you can get up in the morning and go for a hike, like one of my favorite things to do after a Friday night gig when I had to play against Saturday night was probably around lunchtime. Go down to the city, get a cup of coffee, walk around, maybe sit on a deck somewhere from a restaurant, eat something small, have a drink, come back home, relax, and go to the gig. I felt refreshed, a lot more refreshed than I was when I played Friday after being at work all week. So give those things a try, um, and I'd be interested to hear what you guys do when you're experiencing burnout, even if it's with your job, because that can actually burn out, help, help the burnout set in with music as well. And having a day job and having the music for people that are balancing that, you know, feel free to chime in, even if you're not a musician and you have something you do like to get rid of stress at work, if you play fucking paintball, whatever, comment. I'd like to hear. Anyway, guys, thank you very, very much for being here and we'll see you next time.